Have you ever wondered what hides in the voids of the Earth? This question may seem like a plotline from a science fiction novel, but it's a reality that scientists have been exploring for centuries. The Earth beneath our feet is not as solid as it appears. It's riddled with voids and cavities, each with its own unique story to tell. Most of us are familiar with the basics of the Earth's structure, the crust, the mantle, and the core. But did you know that within these layers, there are countless voids and cavities? Think of these as pockets of space, hidden within the Earth's depths, some filled with air, others with water or molten rock. Starting with the crust, the outermost shell, it's a thin layer that's riddled with voids. These voids or spaces are often filled with soil, water or air, forming the habitats for countless organisms. But as we go deeper, the voids take on a different character. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, a thick layer of hot, semi-solid rock. Here the voids are less in number but larger in size. They're filled with molten rock or magma, waiting for a chance to escape to the surface. These are the birthplaces of volcanoes, a dramatic testament to the fiery power hidden within the Earth. Deeper still we reach the core, the heart of the planet. Here the pressure is so immense that the concept of voids seems almost impossible. Yet there are theoretical spaces here as well, filled with superheated, dense material whose properties we are still trying to understand. The Earth's voids are not just empty spaces, they're realms of mystery, filled with phenomena that challenge our understanding of the planet. They're places of life and death, creation and destruction, a testament to the dynamic nature of the Earth. And so we begin our journey into the Earth's voids, a journey to unravel the mysteries that lie beneath our feet. Deep beneath the surface, a world unknown and unseen awaits. A world of voids, pockets of emptiness carved out by nature herself. These are not just empty spaces but rather they are vast realms of darkness and mystery each with a story etched in the very rocks that encase them. Let's delve into the types of these hollowed out spaces. Caves for instance are formed through a process known as karstification, where slightly acidic water erodes soluble bedrock over thousands of years, creating a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers. Sinkholes on the other hand, are sudden collapses of the surface into caverns below, often swallowing up anything unlucky enough to be above them when they occur. Then, there are lava tubes, the secret passages of molten rock from past volcanic eruptions. As the lava cools, it leaves behind a hollow tube, a frozen snapshot of the underground rivers of fire that once flowed there. In the world of such voids, size truly does matter. Take the Krubera Cave for instance. Nestled in the Western Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, it plunges over 7,000 feet into the earth, making it the deepest cave known to mankind. Or consider the Sun Dung Cave in Vietnam, so large that it could fit a 40-story skyscraper within its cavernous belly. Its formation is a testament to the relentless power of water, carving out a cathedral of stone over millions of years. Yet these are merely the famous ones, the ones that have been explored and mapped. There are countless others hidden in the depths, their existence known only to the Earth herself. Each void be it a cave, a sinkhole or a lava tube holds a unique tale, a narrative of the geological processes that birthed it, and the epochs it has silently witnessed. These are but a glimpse of the Earth's many hidden voids, each with its own story to tell. But what could possibly live in these dark seemingly uninhabitable voids, you may ask? It's a fair question as these places are unlike anything we're familiar with on the surface. Yet astoundingly, they're teeming with life, each organism a testament to the tenacity and adaptability of life on Earth. Let's begin with the smallest of the residents, bacteria. You might not think of them as the hardiest of creatures but some bacteria thrive in these extreme conditions. These microbes, known as extremophiles, have evolved to withstand harsh environments that would wipe out most other life forms. They're not just surviving, they're flourishing transforming these inhospitable realms into thriving microbial metropolises, but it's not just microscopic life that calls these voids home, larger creatures too have found ways to survive and thrive in the dark. Take cave fish for example, completely blind they have traded vision for an enhanced sense of touch and a lateral line system that detects changes in water pressure, helping them navigate their lightless world. Then we have bats, the masters of the night. They've made the darkness their domain, using echolocation to navigate and hunt. Their adaptations are so successful that bats are now the only mammals capable of sustained flight, ruling the night skies in many parts of the world. And let's not forget the myriad of insects, spiders and other invertebrates that have carved out a life in the dark. They've developed unique ways to find food and mates without the aid of sunlight, from bioluminescence to chemical signals. These remarkable creatures reveal the true extent of life's adaptability. 
They show us that life isn't just about finding the path of least resistance. It's about facing challenges head on, evolving, and adapting to make the most of whatever circumstances are thrown its way. In the end, it's clear, life is not deterred by darkness. It's not intimidated by the unknown. It's not quelled by the harsh and inhospitable. It's resilient, tenacious, and endlessly inventive. In the pitch black voids of the earth, life finds a way. Aside from housing unique ecosystems, these voids hold significant value for us humans. You see, the voids beneath our feet are not just empty spaces, they are treasure troves of resources and information. Consider, for instance, the importance of groundwater. This is the water that fills the spaces between rocks and soil beneath the Earth's surface. It's a crucial source of fresh water for many communities around the world. In fact, about one-third of all the water humans use comes from these underground reservoirs. They provide drinking water, irrigate our crops, and sustain ecosystems. Then there's the wealth of minerals and precious metals these voids hold. Coal, gold, silver, diamonds, these are just a few examples of the riches that lie beneath our feet. Mining these resources has played a key role in human development and continues to fuel our economies today. But the value of these voids extends beyond tangible resources. They also offer a window into our planet's past. By studying rock formations, fossils, and the distribution of minerals, geologists can piece together the history of the Earth. This information helps us understand everything from climate change to earthquake patterns. And what about the future? Could these voids serve as living spaces for humans? It's not as far-fetched as it might sound. The idea of underground habitation has been explored in science fiction for years, and real-world experiments are underway. Some believe that living underground could help us conserve energy, protect us from natural disasters, and even solve issues of overcrowding. The potential of these voids goes even beyond our planet. As we set our sights on exploring and colonizing other worlds, understanding how to utilize voids becomes even more crucial. The same principles could help us extract water and other resources on Mars or the Moon, or provide shelter from harsh extraterrestrial environments. The voids of the Earth, though unseen, touch our lives in more ways than we might imagine. As our journey into the Earth's voids comes to an end, we leave with more questions than answers. Such is the nature of exploration. Each answer found only serves to unearth a plethora of new questions, each more intriguing than the last. We've delved into the hidden depths of our planet, ventured into the unknown underworld, and marveled at the rich tapestry of life that survives in the dark. We've discovered the value of these voids, not just for the resources they may hold, but also for the lessons they can teach us about resilience, adaptation, and the sheer diversity of life on Earth. These explorations have only scratched the surface of these subterranean worlds. The vastness of the Earth's voids is humbling, a stark reminder of how much there is still to learn about our own home. It's an exciting prospect, this idea that there are still frontiers right beneath our feet, waiting to be charted and understood. The mystery of the Earth's voids calls to the curious, the brave, the relentless seekers of knowledge. It prompts us to push the boundaries of our understanding, to question what we think we know, to look for answers in places we never thought to look before. For all we've learned, we've barely begun to unravel the secrets of these voids. There's a whole world beneath us that we've barely glimpsed. A world that holds clues to our past and perhaps keys to our future. And so, the need for further exploration and research is more pressing than ever. In every crevice, in every cavern, in every subterranean river and lake, there's a story waiting to be told, a piece of the puzzle waiting to be found. And it's up to us to find them, to piece together the story of our planet, one discovery at a time. In the voids of the Earth, we find a reminder of the enduring mystery and wonder of our planet. Who knows what other secrets they hold waiting to be discovered?